nature and history come together at Fort Clinch State Park. Located in Fernandina Beach, the northernmost city of Florida where the Cumberland Sound and Atlantic Ocean meet, this diverse 1,400-acre park features maritime hammocks with massive moss-covered live oak trees. Several miles of pristine beach with hard-packed sand can be ridden with large tire bicycles during low tide. At its heart, a massive 19th century brick coastal fortification constructed as part of the U.S. military's third system of seacoast defense. Almost five million bricks went into making this impressive structure. The fort was named to honor Seminole War General Duncan Lamont Clinch. It's shaped like a pentagon, with five sides and bastions at each corner. Designed to mount 70 pieces of heavy ordnance, it was never fully armed and never saw any direct combat. Today, Fort Clinch is considered one of the best preserved 19th century forts in the nation. In this episode, we want to run down the 10 best things to see and do at Fort Clinch State Park. All of that and so much more straight ahead from Fernandina Beach. Start your day at the park with a stop at the Fort Clinch Visitor Center and Museum. Inside the Visitor Center, you'll find refreshments, ice, firewood, gifts, souvenirs, camping supplies, a variety of history and nature books, along with bait and tackle. Open daily, 9 a.m. until 4.30. This is where you purchase your tickets, which allow you to go inside the fort. Admission to the fort is $2.50 per person. Entrance to the park itself is $6 per vehicle. A breakdown of admission fees is on your screen. The complex also includes a museum which details the construction and history of Fort Clinch, highlighting its strategic importance to the area. There's also a restored Gatling gun and carriage on display. As a history buff, the highlight of the park for me has always been the fort itself. Although no battles were ever waged here, the fort was garrisoned during both the Civil War and Spanish-American War. It was constructed to protect the natural deepwater port of Fernandina from becoming a point of invasion by a foreign power. Visitors can see how Fort Clinch might have looked in 1864, when it was garrisoned by the first New York volunteer engineers. Sparse decor of the period provides a snapshot of what daily life was like for the soldiers. You can easily spend an hour or maybe a couple exploring barracks and officer quarters, a number of utility rooms, as well as the five bastions and a series of tunnels. Two large ramps provide access to the rampart and gun deck, along with 360-degree views of the ocean and waterways. A soldier in authentic dress is normally on duty every day to answer any questions you might have. Bicyclists have more than three miles of paved road under a canopy of oak trees which they can utilize. Early morning and late afternoon are best suited for bicycle riding when there's less vehicle traffic. A more adventurous ride is available with a six-mile off-road multi-use trail adjacent to the park. It's considered an intermediate level trail with elevation changes and turns. Helmets are required. Several miles of beach with hard-packed sand make for an enjoyable ride along the ocean. Beach cruisers are available for rent at the visitor center for a nominal fee.
Fort Clinch is one of the first stops on the Great Florida Birding and Wildlife Trail. Over 100 species of birds inhabit the park permanently or stop by during migration season. One of the best spots for viewing can be found at Egan's Creek Overlook near the park's entrance. The shoreline adjacent to the fort is an excellent place to find fossilized shark teeth. Due to the periodic dredging of the channel here, fresh unsearched sand is pumped onto the beaches of Fort Clinch from deep in the Amelia River. An endless supply of shark teeth are waiting to be discovered, of course, with a little concentration and patience. Shelling is also a favorite pastime. Plan your shelling around the low phase of the tide, which exposes the most beach area. Swimming is available in the Atlantic south of the jetty. No lifeguards are on duty, so swim at your own risk. Visitors are urged to pay attention to ocean conditions at all times and should monitor the park's beach warning flag system, which provides general conditions of the surf. Canoes and kayaks can be launched from the east or west inlet parking areas accessible through the visitor center parking lot. However, paddling is discouraged for all but the most experienced of sea kayakers. St. Mary's Inlet is known for extremely strong and unpredictable currents. We have a link on our website where you can learn more about how to safely canoe or kayak at Fort Clinch. One of the more popular beaches to surf fish along the Atlantic shoreline is the one here at Fort Clinch. The jetties on the beach near the fort are perfect for catching flounder, sheep's head, and speckled trout. The park's visitor center offers a small variety of fishing tackle and bait for purchase. Florida fishing regulations apply. The park does not sell fishing licenses. A few hiking trails can be found throughout the park. At Willow Pond, you'll find a two-loop hiking trail. Both encircle a series of freshwater ponds where you might spot gators and a variety of birds. The park offers 69 campsites in two separate and unique campgrounds. Each has a fire ring, picnic table, potable water, and electric hookups. Well-behaved pets are welcome at both campgrounds. There's also a primitive group camp facility surrounded by wilderness and shaded by live oaks. That's it, the 10 best things to see and do at Fort Clinch State Park. What are your favorite state parks to visit in Florida? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. We have travel tips, maps, and links to the places mentioned in our videos on our website, chadgallivanter.com. Check it out. We like to think it's a great planning resource. Hey, one last thing, we've produced lots of videos on Fernandina Beach and Amelia Island over the years. Take a look at some of our previous videos and our archives. As always, thank you so much for watching. From Fort Clinch, see you next time.